The narcissist future faking is where the narcissist will use the future to get their needs met by you in the present by getting us to focus on a future promise that they will not deliver on to gaslight us by selling us an illusion of something that was never meant to be. Future faking is used by a narcissist to hide things from us, to distract us from the reality of what's truly happening. The narcissist will promise something and then when they don't deliver these things on us, if we question them about it, the narcissist will come back at us with, I'm sorry, if only you, you forgot to remind me, to blame you for the things that you possibly didn't even do and to excuse the narcissist's behaviour for not doing what they said they would do. Future faking is to sell you that false hope that if only you do something for them, they would do something for you to make you feel gratitude. So if they promise you something, then don't deliver and you ask them if they will then not deliver on that promise and they will come up with something that you have done to blame you for why they didn't deliver on their promise. Or they will gaslight you into believing they did do something that they actually didn't do. Or they will guilt trip you and make you feel like you're asking too much of them by saying things such as, what about when I did this for you? to make you feel bad. When you call a narcissist out on their behaviour, they're going to go all out to make you feel bad so they don't have to. Narcissistic people future fake to get their needs met, persuade people into doing something they don't want to do, distract people from the truth, alter people's beliefs, alter people's realities, break down people's boundaries, give people false hope, guilt trip people. Future faking pulls on our emotions, our hopes, our wishes, our desires, our dreams and our happiness. Narcissists hold our beliefs about what our future will be like. They show us glimpses, yet the longer we are around them, the less they deliver. They're not looking for that two-way communication. They're not looking for that two-way relationship. They're not looking for give and take. They're looking to take by pretending to give. The less they deliver on these promises, unless we begin to wake up from the trance they put us under, the more false promises they will make. Narcissists will offer that intermittent reinforcement and deliver occasionally on the odd promise of breadcrumb us to give us that false hope. As we can be so grateful for the breadcrumbs, we can then shower them with attention. A narcissist might deliver more, depending on what needs of theirs needs to be met at that given time. They will throw us just enough crumbs to keep us hungry for more. They will give us just enough hope to keep us hanging on to nothing. It's hard walking away from parents, childhood friends, siblings, partners, that dream job, as we hold beliefs as to who they can be and what life should be, yet we repeatedly get hurt by them. We repeatedly get shown by them what life is, yet they gaslight us into what life could be. They gaslight us into believing that we're the ones causing the problems. We have beliefs about what family life should be like, yet when that family life becomes painful, our beliefs of what it could be often keeps us trapped in a reality of what it's really like without being able to recognise that reality. And that and fear. Of course, narcissists place fear into others to keep people trapped. The narcissist psychological manipulation of our reality in our minds common future faking phrases are i'll never hurt you i should move in with you you should move in with me often very quickly after meeting i'll go to counseling i'll change i'll not do it again i will seek help i need your help i'll pay you back i'll pay you back this time let's go on holiday let's get married let's buy a home let's have a baby 
No one can ever come between us. I'll not hurt you. I'll not hurt you again. I'll not tell anyone you can trust me. I'll always love you. I'll change. If you just give me one more chance, I promise. I need your help. We'll go there next week. We'll do that next month. Next year. They might actually deliver on some of these future fakes. Still, there will be strings attached as whatever they do is to exploit others to get their needs met. They will also make sure they use your past against you to deliver on your worst nightmares, which often leaves us completely confused, like we're going crazy and full of self-doubt, more anxiety and full of fear and many more. Narcissists future fake in the love bombing. They will idolise in the love bombing stage. This is where they will shower us with words of affirmation, acts of service, quality time, excessive gifts. They get to know all your hopes, all your dreams, all your desires and then they mirror and match them like for like and sell you your own dreams back to you. Things such as, you're my soulmate, I've never met anyone like you before, we should get married. Why don't we start looking at wedding venues? Why don't we start looking at homes? I really think we should have a child together. You should quit your job and move in with me, I can provide for us both. I'm at yours all the time and look at how much I help you. I should move in and then I'm always around for you. Let's start looking at houses to buy. I just wish... To wake up with you every morning and snuggle you every evening. I'd like us to travel the world together when we retire. I could really see us having so much fun together. I just knew you were the one for me. We're so good together, the perfect fit. I would never hurt you. I cannot wait to have a family with you, grow old together and have our grandchildren visit. We are so good together. Financially, with Financial abuse. A narcissist will ask to borrow money and then they will promise to pay you back in the future. However, when it comes to the future, they will claim that if you love them, you wouldn't ask for it back or they just need a little bit more time or that you never lent it them in the first place. A narcissist makes us feel guilty for asking them to hold out on what they claim they would do. To escape any consequences for their lies, they'll gaslight and deny with, what money? I never said that. So the future fakes are things such as, when I've paid this loan, we can get the house. I think that one's perfect. I'll make up for it. I'll take you on holiday. You pick, I'll pay. I didn't get a bonus. Next year we can have a holiday. I'm a little short. I promise I'll not. I'll not be next week. I will pay you back. And the thing with these future fakes is, it can happen. People can not get their bonus. People can be a little bit sure. And we can help those out who are willing to be respectful of your help. Narcissistic people don't respect your help. They just want to take from you and then blame you when they don't give back. The discard. A narcissist will discard people to distract them from what's genuinely happening. So a narcissist can escape accountability. So there aren't any consequences to their actions. So they don't have to work any harder than they want to. Many try to discard in a way that keeps you clinging on to hope. And they'll say things such as, I love you, I just need a break from you. I promise I just need a break, we will sort things out. I'm just a little stressed and need a time out. I will be back. And as people can be stressed, we often believe them, we often trust their word. Only narcissistic people use reasonable ideas to get us to believe within them when what they're doing is confusing us and hurting us and lying to us. The Hoover. A narcissist will future fake in the Hoover stage because they want to suck us back in, to treat us like dirt, to spit us back out again. All those false promises of, I'll go to counselling, let's get married, I need your help, we can we be friends, let's start a family, let's go on holiday. It's all future faking to distract you from the past, to breadcrumb you into that false hope of something that they will not deliver on. They expect eternal gratitude. Narcissists will use things against you 
forevermore. Anything they've done for you, they will use against you. And they will say, what about when I? You're so ungrateful. Some common future fakes in the Hoover are, can we go to counselling? I will change for you. I see how incredible you are. I needed to realise you were the only one for me. I promise I'll not hurt you this time. I'll never let you and the children down again. I didn't mean to hurt you. I just needed space. I know I don't deserve you. I'll buy you that home. We'll get married. I need your help. We were so good together and we can be again. The narcissist will mirror to get to know who you are as a person so that they can exploit you for who you are as a person. They will offer you the things that you want most. Usually, they will have claimed that they want these things too. So, not only do you live in the hope that you can achieve these things together, you feel guilty walking away from them because you believe that they want them also. So, you work harder to please them, not realising it's all their future-faking manipulation. A narcissist has the characteristics of exploitation. They are someone who tricks people, persuades people, cheats people, manipulates people into believing something that isn't true. Future faking causes that cognitive dissonance within our minds, that confusion, the brain fog, as we end up living two or more realities, two or more belief systems that just don't fit together which no matter how much we try to match those jigsaw pieces up, a narcissist is always sneakily pulling another one out from behind our back, then claiming it was nothing to do with them. It must have been us. We're imagining things. How can we not remember? Narcissists manipulate in the cruelest of ways. Future faking destroys our trust in others and our trust within ourselves. It can leave us questioning our memories, blaming ourselves, overthinking in a negative way, withdrawing from people and full of self-doubt. Self-help? Start believing in yourself again, listening and learning and trusting in your instincts. Create your own dreams. Walk alongside people. Let people go. Only allow people to treat you how you would treat them. Remember, you are in control of your dreams. Your dreams are your responsibility. We don't give our power away by telling others, as not everyone is going to be happy for you, especially not a narcissist. They'll be envious of you and they'll want to sabotage those dreams and take them away from you any way they can. There is no wrong with having hopes and dreams. In fact, it's a most and a part of life to get you out of bed every day, having that vision, that hope, that passion. It's never your fault that narcissists took advantage of your kind heart. That's on them. They missed out, not you. There's no wrong in having hopes, wishes and dreams with someone who had the same desires as you. However, we have to learn to recognise when others repeatedly let us down on the small things in the beginning and it leaves us disappointed. They invalidate those feelings when they don't call or Pick up because they fell asleep and you get a, I promise, next time. Only next time they repeat the last time. So it's not just once. It's not then because they fell asleep. It's because it's who they are. It's because they don't care. Those people are not the ones to have hopes and dreams with. They will dash them at every turn and you will deserve better. When we keep hoping they change to the person they claim themselves to be, while they continue to show us the person they are, we are the ones left feeling hurt, confused, angry, frustrated, irritated. It's okay to no longer be there for those who are never truly there for you. Remember, you are enough. If anyone has any thoughts on this video or any signs of future faking that you notice, please do add those into the comments. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, this channel is all about narcissistic behaviour. To give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact, and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, then please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.